Well done, mate. That's it. What a sensational performance. It's, uh, it's been an interesting one, for, obviously, with Stewie two weeks ago and then, yep. then breaking uh, Barry Breen's record last week. It's been sort of party month then, if you like. But uh, for you, uh, the amount of times that uh, you probably have looked at St Kilda and thought, gee, I could go somewhere else, but you never have. You've always done the right thing. Uh, Yep. What does it mean to play 300 games for you? Oh, I think it, it's fantastic to play 300 games at uh, sort of any club, and even if it took you a couple of clubs, but uh, to play them at the one club where I first started probably has that extra tinge of uh, pride uh, associated with it. And uh, you know, to, for Stuart to do it two weeks ago and for me to do it uh, just soon after him is uh, just fantastic. Well, a man who, the only other person to play 300 games uh, up here is Sam. Yeah. What's uh, it like? Yeah, at the one <laughs> club to it. Yeah. Um, now, Nathan, uh, have you been, would it be fair to say you've been at stages disillusioned uh, at St Kilda for various reasons? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Uh, they've always been uh, fantastic by me, um, They've sacked you as the captain? Uh, yeah, that, that, I never got disillusioned with that. No. Um, you know, that, that was a change uh, that has worked out well. Cause they I sacked think, me uh, at Geelong, incidentally. Because <laughs> so. yeah, Rob, Robert uh, deserves a job and he, he's doing a, a fantastic mm -hmm. job. I probably would have been disillusioned if they took it off me and gave it to someone who wasn't worthy. But uh, that wasn't the case. And what about the, is it a myth that the players have successively got rid of uh, coaches in uh, pretty swift order if they uh, weren't happy with them? Is that a myth or is there some truth to no, that? No, that, that, that is a myth. Um, I will it's pretty, quote, uh, pretty popular uh, it is. I'll, opinion I'll quote that my, that is the my case. current coach that uh, says players don't appoint coaches and they certainly don't sack coaches. Um, so there, there's, uh, Eddie knows that the, uh, what goes on at a football club and yourself and the board members and directors and the whole lot and to say that uh, just a group of players can actually get rid of a, a, the important person at the club like a coach uh, is not correct. Stan Ells would probably uh, dispute that. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to get Stan on and ask him We've his had exact him on. thoughts. We've had him on in the oh, past. I must have missed that show. Yeah, no. <laughs> so. Boogie, on the positive side, uh, you're a fantastic Victorian player. Night grand final. <clears throat> grand final, not a premiership, unfortunately. But yep. along the way, what's been the, the, the thing that you'll take away with you? Uh, probably the fact that I've, I've managed to play for so long. Um, and I, I called blokes like Trevor Barker, Joffrey Cunningham, Greg Burns, um, Tony Lockett, even guys that came from other clubs like... Well, Jones and, and Jimmy Cracker and Brian Wilson, I called them teammates at some stage. And uh, hopefully now the guys like Justin Kaczynski and Nick Rewalt, the, the young guys we've got at our club, mm. when they go on to bigger and better things 10, 15 years' time, uh, I'll call those blokes teammates as well. So uh, that, that's really been a highlight. Well, you have gone from bigger and better things because we've got a, a couple of shots here of a, a young Nathan Burke in action. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This place is a water-based spray. <laughs> if overspray occurs, a whitish coating or salty specks wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> First person you were doing there was the late Alan uh, Shield. Yes, who the did late Alan Shield. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the late Lee, Freddie Mercury Lee as well. Yes. Yeah. Don't do any impersonations of us. No. No, 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 I'm glad you brought those up. I've just been living those down the last couple of years, but uh, thanks for that. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Plenty more of that to come. Congratulations, Berkey, on 300, mate. Uh, I won't be there to uh, play against you on the weekend. Yeah, it's well luck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how long do you foresee your playing future? Uh, I'm contracted. Uh, for another season, only 31 now, so it's not sort of at the eldest age that you can be. Uh, as long as I can control my mind and my body, um, I'll play as long as they're right, but I can't control what the football club think and uh, what their plans are, whether they want to bring in some young guys or they think I've still got a role. So uh, I'll make sure I'm right and uh, we'll see what the football club think. Yeah, Berkey, you mentioned Plugger and you mentioned some yep. other players. Who is the character or the person you'll remember when you leave footy the most down at St Kilda? Uh, I, I was talking to a Richmond player today, uh, Stephen Zeller, and uh, he was saying how, how serious Danny is and, uh, and, that, and, and I just can't imagine if, if I was playing at Richmond and Danny tried to be serious, I'd just have to break up <laughs> laughing because uh, some of the things that he got away with as a player, if uh, Richmond players tried it with him, 
uh, they wouldn't get too far. So, uh, um, yeah, probably Danny w would be one of the, the characters of all time. Were you old enough to get into the St Kilda disco? Uh, Back in the old days? I don't think we had age limits back then. I was <laughs> 17 when you I did, started. did on the girls, you <laughs> couldn't be over 19. I yeah. <laughs> so I was just squeezing as many as possible. But uh, yeah, look, that, that's a, a passing of football that's probably died out a little bit. And uh, you know, that probably the administrators like yourself think that that's a good, good thing. But uh, you know, that, they were good old days, a, a, a good memories. Berkey, you've had the helmet on for such a long time and yep. you've copped a, obviously a lot of knocks over your, your career. Has there ever been days where you sort of think to yourself, you know, this is just driving me insane, like having the helmet on week after week? Does it get uh, hot the up only, there? I've, I've taken off one game since since 92 and it was about uh, 40 degrees up in Brisbane when it was just uh, too hot and I just, just couldn't handle it. And uh, I needed a bit of an edge and, and unfortunately it didn't help. But uh, no, look, it's uh, just, just part of the footy gear now. You put the boots on, you put the mouth guard in, you put the, the lid on saved you? and yeah, away like you go. Your uh, yeah, I've got a, a migraine problem. I get blurred vision. So uh, it's, uh, it's certainly decreased that from happening. I only get it now through hits in the nose of yep. a drawer or something. <laughs> well, speaking of the, uh, the helmets, uh, <laughs> we have now got uh, a tribute to Berkey from all the helmeted warriors of football over the years. Congratulations, Berkey, on a great milestone achieved. All helmeted players are usually tough and courageous, and you're no exception. I'm sure you've had more blurred vision than I ever did. Have a great weekend and enjoy your 300th. Congratulations, Berkey, on your 300 games. It's a fantastic milestone. Two words of advice. One, get out and enjoy the game. And number two, Make sure you make an investment in the future. You never know what's going to happen when you give away that helmet, mate. Good luck. Berkey, uh, this is not my real helmet, mate, so don't get worried. Uh, from one helmet of St Kilda legend to another, uh, uh, congratulations on your 300th game and uh, hopefully your family and that enjoy the day. Well, Nathan, from uh, one pioneer of crash helmets to another, congratulations on a magnificent effort. 300 games in anyone's language is great news and you're still going. Let's have a look at the side. All right. Well, the kangaroos were very good on the weekend. Let's have a look, but they're out without uh, the king is out. The king is out, but Corey is back. Yep, Corey McKernan is back. So too, Jess Sinclair and Brady Rawlings going out of the side with Wayne Carey. He's out for a couple of weeks, possibly with a calf injury. Is Corey Jones and Digby Morrell. Matthew Burton plays his 100th game, and of course he played 70 games with the Fremantle Dockers before getting down to Arden Street. Let's have a look now at the St Kilda side. And some big changes here. The skipper is back. Rob Harvey back in time for the 300 game, so to Andrew Thompson, so captain and vice captain come back in. Chad Davis is back after he was uh, nearly killed there by Wayne Schwoss a couple of weeks ago. And Ben Walton comes into the side. Out goes Maxie Hutchinson with a hamstring, Barry Hall with a hamstring, Tony Delaney with a quad and Stephen Baker who has been omitted. But how's this for a tail away for the Saints as far as injuries? All hamstrings. Hall, Ozzie Jones, Jason Cripps, Max Hutchinson, Craig Callahan, Stephen Lawrence, Rob Harvey's back. Quad is Delaney and Plap has a calf. Seven hemis in the last few weeks. What is going on down there? Uh, yeah, we don't really know. We've actually put on a, uh, an overseer of, of the whole fitness department that uh, is looking into things like that and how we can be sort of leaders in that area in the future. Is, but, it, is uh, it because Malcolm didn't let you kick the footies over the summer and you just ran and ran and ran? Is, it, is there maybe a little bit of that involved? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, talking to these guys before the show, they think uh, it may be a bit of a curse of uh, colonial. Uh, they said they, they pull up a little bit sore after playing on that ground. It's got a new surface there now. Now, this is a better uh, story. Hang on. This is a big story, but yeah. uh, I personally haven't felt anything different. We, we've had five games there. We've had nine hamstrings. Uh, whether well, that well, Wayne, you've an played answer. twice there and then you calf twice. Yeah, there is a bit of a story behind Colonial. People are saying that the ground is a little firmer. It has been changed and it was fantastic on the weekend, but uh, before that, uh, yeah, guys do pull up Sora playing at Colonial. Liver? Well, I guess you're playing on concrete because it's concrete base, grass on top, so um, it is very hard on the legs. Mm. Yeah, that's an interesting one, Sam. What do you think about that? How the concrete's concrete under the ground, uh, Tony? It's my understanding. Yeah. It is, because the car park's underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right, Ed. Yeah, exactly. How far would the concrete be under the ground before it actually affected your legs? I don't know. Well, there's, there's no give in the ground because of the concrete, I would think, but it's not that much, so mm. I've heard. Mm. Well, we'll go and find out, Sam. We'll get the penetrometer reading down there and find out all about that. Now, Corey McKernan is back in town. That's great news for the Kangaroos after one week in the reserves. 
Here's a, a grab with Corey tonight after he heard the good... Yeah, look, uh, hopefully he can come back and get a few kicks for us. But, uh, look, if Fremantle were in good form, we're in sensational form because we've won two games, they've won none. But in all, in all seriousness, <laughs> Fremantle haven't been playing that bad. And in saying that, neither of St Kilda. They lost last week, but I thought they played a very, very good game. That's what I mean by good form without winning. And uh, I think this will be a great game. Uh, boys, a quick tip. Yeah, looking at that camera angle, I think North Melbourne are certain he's... <laughs> oh, Corey, did Corey's you... head. Oh, what a shocking camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That was... Didn't do any justice at all. No, you're right. We should have shot it a bit closer so we can see right up his shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Liver? I think they'll do it for Berkey. Uh, he's 300th, I think, the Saints. All right. Jeez, next to Duck yeah. there, he's, he's, he's still antagonising him. <laughs> Sam, who's going to win? No, I think home ground advantage, uh, Ed, for the In Kangaroos. Home ground in Canberra. That's right, yeah. <laughs> they've played a game there, haven't they, already? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, what, when did you play last year? We've played a few games yeah. up there over yeah. the years. Marnica. A few Cup. Mm. And also a uh, home and away game against Port Adelaide, where Winston Abraham took mark of the year a few years ago. Berkey, you must be bleeding that you're playing your 300th in Canberra. Oh, I can't really do much about it. Uh, it's probably harder on the family and friends that want to get up there and watch, but uh, the only thing I could do was miss a game, and I wasn't keen to do that. Might not get back in. Who did you so, play the week? Uh, you played Collingwood the week Collingwood after. Collingwood the week after. Right. Gee, so yeah. uh, we'll make it two in a row. No, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bad timing on that. I was about to plug your jumper that you're trying to sell, oh, but you right. go to hell. <laughs> 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 no, this is the jumper. This is the Nathan Berg jumper. As you can see, it's like Stewie Lowe's. He's got the special embossed 300. Now, this is limited edition of 1,500,000 of these jumpers. No, no, uh, That's a price. <laughs> it's a personally autographed, beautifully framed. Here's how you can get one. Nathan Burke's 300 game jumper. It's got the tag of certificate of authenticity, the whole thing. Limited edition of 30. Only $30. $550 GST included. And you can ring the St Kilda Footy Club. I said only 30 available. So that's fantastic. Perky, you have been an absolute ornament, as they say, to the game. To the game. Pretty have. You've been fantastic. 300 yeah, games. Doesn't matter who plays 300 games, if you can get the 300, you are a bona fide AFL Star champion. Absolutely. Well done. Congratulations, <laughs> mate. Nathan Bird.